I was off this weekend. Oh. I was over at uh, Central Washington conducting some business. And uh, yeah, I actually saw more Siwoo baseball, as they say, as opposed to some POU stuff. Siwoo. But, but the uh, Lutes played Pacific, like you said, Seth. They swept Saturday, the doubleheader on Saturday. POU won game one, four to three. And then game uh, one, game two, three to two. So a couple of very close ball games there. And that cr- trend continued on Sunday for game three, final game of the series. It was a wild one. POU trailed by four, heading into the top of the ninth inning with their last three outs. They put up four runs, tied the thing up. It went into extra innings. Both teams hung a run on the board in the 10th inning. And then in the top of the 11th, POU added another run. Pacific could not answer, and the Lutes won 11 to 10 10 in 11 innings. Yeah. Like, a I wild way to pick up a sweep. Oh, yeah. Really interesting. All three games were decided by one run, but PLU was on the, the right side of all three of those games. Yeah, it, it's it's super interesting. And, you know, we see here in game three that Jacob Bockley hit another home run, and mm. he was one of the guys coming into the year that needed to play big for the Lutes mm. throughout the season because there was so much turnover uh, on the roster. They graduated 11 seniors, and uh, there's a lot of familiar faces, but they might be in a few different places yeah. uh, throughout yes. the Diamonds. So. It's uh, it's kind of a little bit of a prove-it year for the POU loot baseball team, but uh, they're hanging in there. They're hanging tough right now. So yep, three-game sweep, and now they got Whitworth this weekend. So and currently second in conference, and I believe is is Whitworth the team that they're trailing? I want to pro- say it might yes. be Linfield. I, it's a, oh, I, it oh, is Whitworth. I think it's Whitworth. I think it. I think it is Whitworth. So, anyways, I, I kind of want to highlight Bockley there. You you talked about him and how he's got to play big this weekend. He. He batted 438 and had a 550 on base percentage, and like you said, hit a hit a hit a another dinger. Um, so he he is coming through clutch, and I think if he can continue that success, like you were saying, um, the Lutes will be right up there. Like you said, ranked second right now, and so um, obviously a big series coming up, and hoping they can at least get two out of it, if not sweep. I, I do want to highlight one person that probably doesn't get highlighted very often and that's the PLU closer Alex Gregory Mm. Mm. in this triple header he pitched five and two thirds innings struck out seven he picked up a win and he also picked up two saves over the weekend so yeah one of those freshmen out of the Metro League they actually have two Metro League kids log on to golutes.com read the preview story for the Pacific game and you'll see that Justin Armbruster and Alex Gregory kind of knew each other before coming to PLU because of their Metro League um, relationship they were opponents in the Metro League and now they're here at POU putting together solid outings, you know. It's one of those things, we had a discussion, I think, a week, maybe two weeks ago about old guys teaching young guys and things like that, but Gregory yeah. just shows up and in high-pressure situations, Gets this kid has done. it. Yep. This kid, he's a very solid arm for the Lutes and definitely a, uh, a piece that they're very happy to have. Yeah, and uh, another one that kind of want to highlight, I got I to mention his name because he was Northwest Conference Pitcher of the Week, so the Lutes swept uh, both, both honors right there. It's Chad Gideon. Um, on the season right now, he's got a 2.52 ERA with 39 innings pitched, um, and has a record of four and two. So, um, I, g- I think that's another guy. If he can kind of anchor that pitching staff and continue his success, obviously it's going to produce wins um, on the mound. Well, and you mentioned Gideon; he's their ace. He goes first game of every series, mm-hmm. and like I said, if he can be solid as he has been and and start the weekend off right, team can get rolling. Yeah, exactly. We- we talked about errors last weekend and how that's hindered the team, but if they can clean that up towards the end of the year, they're going to be there. They will be yeah. in the hunt. Mm-hmm. It would be it would be awesome if POU could host the conference tournament. I mean, I would love the hours. I, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's good both ways. I wish softball was like that, but I don't I don't think they're going to be able to host it this year. Um, but anyways, I don't think PLU baseball has hosted the conference tournament in my four years here, have they? Mm, if they did, it was the first year, but I wasn't working for the athletic office, so I don't know. Okay. But well, anyways, it's been a little bit. Yeah. So that would be awesome. Um, get a lot of loots out there to watch them and support them. So that would be that would be great for the university. 